Zika is a viral disease transmitted by mosquitoes. It was first discovered in monkeys in 1947, but the first large outbreak in humans wasn't until 2007. Then, during 2013 and 2014, thousands more suspected infections were recorded. In 2015, the Brazilian government reported thousands of cases of a mystery illness in northeastern states. By 2016, Zika had been confirmed and the virus quickly spread throughout Latin America. Soon, authorities began observing an increase in the birth defect microcephaly and scientists from many different fields started assembling evidence to prove that Zika was the cause. Microcephaly is a birth defect which is linked to various different causes. It's a condition where a baby is born with a small head and brain, or the head stops growing after birth. During the Brazil outbreak, a very high rate of microcephaly was reported in the northeastern region compared to subsequent outbreak areas. This left the global scientific community questioning why were so many more birth defects detected in northeast Brazil? Were other factors at play? Not a lot was known about Zika during the early stages of the Brazil epidemic, and there were many competing hypotheses and even conspiracy theories circulating. So a team of researchers came together to study birth defects throughout Brazil. The challenge that researchers faced was that by the time the link between Zika and microcephaly had been discovered, the epidemic was almost over. So they had to go back in time and design a study using routinely collected data from more than 4 million births from the period of the outbreak. This information was cross-referenced with other databases to statistically test a number of factors hypothesized to increase the impact of Zika in pregnant women. No evidence for alternative causes of the increased birth defect rate in northeast Brazil was found. Instead, their research suggests that the region experienced an earlier, longer and largely undetected Zika outbreak than was originally realized. The virus may have been present from as early as 2013, but because the outbreak wasn't recognized, it may have not been controlled as effectively as later outbreaks. The study also found that there is little or no risk if infection occurs outside of the first or second trimesters. The study has important implications for potential future outbreaks of Zika, but we still know only a small proportion of what we need to know. That's why the global scientific community is continuing its research, with the aim of minimizing negative outcomes in the next outbreak.